How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today I am in collaboration with T Spectral. Seize the day one sip at a time. This is run by Stephanie Warner. You can see all of their social media down here. It'll also be linked in the description below. I'm going to be testing out one of their tea packages that they made and I'm really excited to be able to not only make them and show you guys but to also be able to taste them as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dig into the package. Alright, and the name of the package is Miss Mary Lou's Tea Time Fam Collection. This is actually another YouTuber actually designed this entire tea collection. You see from the back side right here, we're going to be going through these in a little bit. We have the three different teas that we're going to be trying. Mary Lou's Morning Rose Garden, Jacob's Midday Citrus Embers, and Hobbits's Evening Fairy Fields. So we're going to be checking all of those out in a little bit but I'll be linking her YouTube in the description below if you enjoy people who cover different types of uh, teas. All right, and the first thing we're gonna be unboxing is by Victorian Trading Co. It is a really nice teacup that was provided to me from Tea Spectral. This is what the teacup looks like. It has a really nice reflective gold edging and a really cute and beautiful floral print. And once you get to the bottom, it actually says, uh, you have been poisoned. I believe this teacup was inspired by Agatha Christie. And if you don't know who that is, it's someone who wrote many famous murder mystery novels. Let's go ahead and set this one to the side. And then we have a bottom to it as well. Oh wow, look at that. That is so nice. So this is what the bottom looks like has a very nice floral pattern just like the teacup. I really enjoy the reflectiveness, look at that. It looks really nice. And this is what the bottom looks like. Alright, let's set it down. There we go. Then this is what it looks like when it's sitting on its little plate. Without further ado, let's take a look at the different types of teas, make them, and try them out. Alright, so right here we have the teas, and what's really cool about these is you can actually use everything that's here. You can use the bag to drain the tea leaves, and you can even use this to uh, tie the bag as well. All of this is reusable. Go ahead and open it up. There we go. Let's put this off to the side. All right, and the first one we have is Miss Mary Lou's Rose Garden. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh wow, look at this. All of the different tea in here mixed with these flowers. Let's go ahead and see what these are. So I'm going to set this down. And it actually says on the back of Miss Mary Lou's card what's inside of here. So it says, Miss Mary Lou's Morning Rose Garden. Ease into the morning with a scent of sweet rose and bergamot. Made with black tea, rose petals, cornflower petals, natural and artificial flavors, 
This is a black tea blend, which should be seeped at a roiling boil around 212 degrees Fahrenheit for about four to five minutes. Seep a little longer for a stronger brew if you desire to take this blend with milk, or a little less to drink it by itself. Wow, so it has all of these things in here. We have black tea, rose petals, cornflower petals, and rose and bergamot too. Let's look a little bit closer at this. Look at that. You never knew uh, tea could be so interesting, huh? Look at the flower right there. That looks so nice. And then the uh, contrast of the purples and the kind of, that's more of a blue, huh? And then the, like a pinkish purple. That's really nice. I can't wait to try this one. I'm going to put that one on to the side. All right, let's go ahead and pull out the next tea. This one is Jacob's Midday Citrus Embers. I believe this one's named after Miss Mary Lou's fiance, which is very sweet. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Ooh, this one looks really interesting. It kind of does look like embers. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Look at this. Wow. Look at the uh, tea. That is so cool. Let's set this down for a second and see what's in this one. So this is Jacob's Midday Citrus Embers. It says, deep oolong is blended with bright citrus notes for the perfect afternoon pickup. Made with oolong, hibiscus, apples, rose hips, safflower, orange peel, natural and artificial flavors. And this is an oolong tea blend which should be seeped with water just reaching boiling temperature around 200 degrees for one to three minutes, depending on strength preferences. And let's get one more good look at this. Wow. Look at that. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, that smells really good. You can really smell the sweetness of the apples in there. I believe these little brown pieces are the apples right there. And now we have the last one. Put this to the side. This is Hobbits' Evening Fairy Fields. Now what's really funny is this actually is named after Miss Mary Lou's cats which is really sweet, because you know I love cats. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so interesting how all of these different teas have all these different ingredients in them that uh, change the flavor so much. Let's go ahead and set this one down. And now let's see what's in this one. It says, Envelop yourself in coziness with sumptuous peach and rustic sage made with decaffeinated black tea, dried apricots, sage, natural and artificial flavors. This is a decaffeinated tea blend which should be seeped at a roiling boil around 212 degrees Fahrenheit for four to five minutes. Seep a little bit longer if you desire milk, or less if you'd like to drink it by itself. And that was it for the card description. I'll be putting Miss Mary Lou's YouTube link in the description below if you'd like to check her out. And then this is the close-up of the tea. Let's go ahead and put this back on and then prepare it for a tasting. 
All right, so I got some teacups set up. This one right here I really like. It's uh, kind of the deep blue with like a brownish kind of burnt looking bottom. I got this from Tokyo Central. Thought it would be nice to incorporate into the video. And then right here we have a traditional smaller teacup that has some hand painted looking flowers. I really like this one as well. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the rose garden in this cup, Jacob's midday citrus embers in the main cup, and then Hobbit's evening fairy fields in the last one. Let's go ahead and set them up. All right, so I went ahead and unpacked the little tea seeper. This is what the tea is going to go in in order for it to seep. And I also have this really cute uh, teaspoon that's meant for tea. It's made out of uh, wood. All right, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of Miss Mary Lou's Rose Garden. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some in here. There we go. Let's go ahead and set that down. Now we're going to go ahead and put the T inside of here. There we go. And let's go ahead and seal this up. All right, we went ahead and got the tea inside of there. And it's going to be going inside of this mug. Also, I have this really nice teapot I got from uh, Tokyo Central, also known as Morakai. Let's go ahead and add the hot water and start making the tea. There we go. Now I just need to give this one about four to five minutes. All right, it's been about uh, five minutes now. Let's go ahead and look and see. Yeah, it's gotten a lot darker. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a taste and see how it tastes. That tastes so good. It, um, the first thing that I can notice in this one is definitely uh, the rose petals. And um, I'd say together with this black tea is just, there's nothing like a good, uh, good cup of like floral black tea. That is, that is just something. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next tea. All right, and now we have the next cup I'm gonna be using. And in this one, we're gonna be having the second tea, which is Jacob's Midday Citrus Embers. Let's go ahead and uh, put some in. And probably a little bit more I want this one to be nice and strong. Get some of these little bits in there, the little pieces of apple. Look at that. It's a little bit small, but I think it will still taste just as good. And here we go. And for this one, we're going to be waiting one to three minutes. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take this out now. All right, and look at that. It has a little bit of loose tea leaves in there, but I actually uh, don't mind. Let's go ahead and try it out. This one definitely has a, um, I'd say a little bit more of a fruity taste because of the uh, apples in there. But it's, um, 
It's different because it's made with oolong. This one is probably uh, my favorite so far. Let's get on to the uh, last tea. Let's go ahead and grab the last one, which is going to be the Hobbits' Evening Fairy Fields. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some of this. Put it inside. There we go. Gonna set this inside of here. And pour in some of our hot water. And for this one, it's gonna be about four to five minutes. So I'll see you then. All right, now it's been about five minutes. So this is what the tea looks like. A little bit darker than the other ones. We do have some tea leaves at the bottom, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and try this out. I can uh, understand why they said that uh, this one's cozy. I really enjoy the uh, peach flavor to this one. This one is probably my second favorite. I really enjoyed the uh, second one that I tasted. I believe it was the, um, the ember one. All right. All right, so this has been the Miss Mary Lou's Tea Time Fam Collection. Really enjoyed this. I'll be linking her YouTube in the description below. I'm also going to be linking the Tea Spectral website down below so you guys can get your own teas as well. Look in the comments for a possible coupon code. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to my Patreon, Emily Lopez, and a huge shout out to Stephanie Warner for making such great teas. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.